consider the following formula, 3d equals e minus 3. Which of the following statements is true for this formula? A. If d is less than negative 1, e is positive. B. If d is greater than negative 3, e is negative. C. If d is greater than negative 1, e is positive. And D. If d is greater than negative 3, e is positive. In order to solve this problem, we need to be able to visualize the graph so that we can tell which of these options are true and which of these options are false. The easiest way and the fastest way to graph a linear equation is by finding the intercepts, the x and y intercepts, or in this case, the d and e intercepts. Uh, in order to find the intercepts or the spot where a linear equation will cross the y or x axis, we need to set each variable equal to zero and solve for the other variable. So to start, let's set d equal to zero or substitute zero in for d and then solve for e. To start, we need to resolve our parentheses. e times, or excuse me, three times zero would give us zero equals e minus three. Three is being subtracted from e, so we need to do opposite operations to balance the equation and isolate the variable. This will cancel out and give us zero, leaving behind e. Zero plus three will give us three. Uh, so our e intercept is three. When d is 0, e is 3. Now we do the same process before the other variable. We're going to substitute 0 in for e and solve for d. 3d equals, instead of e, we put 0 minus 3. 0 minus 3 would just be negative 3. 3 is being multiplied to d, so if we want to isolate d, we need to do opposite operations to both sides of the equations. Uh, 3 divided by 3 will just give us 1, leaving us with d equals negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. So when e equals 0, d is negative 1. All right. For the purposes of this problem, let's call the y-axis our d-axis, and let's call the x-axis our e-axis, and plot these points. When d is 0, e is 3. When e is 0, d is negative 1. So now that we can visualize a graph, we can check each of these statements to see which ones are true and which ones are false. Starting with answer choice A, if d is less than negative 1, so all of this over here, when d is less than negative 1, e is positive. Let's take a look at our quadrants. Remember that quadrant 1 is always positive, positive. x and y are both positive. In our second quadrant, x is negative, but y is still positive. In our third quadrant, both are negative. And then in our fourth quadrant, we have x is positive, y is negative. So... A is incorrect because it is suggesting that E should be positive in this quadrant, and it is not. It is incorrect. B and D both say if D is greater than negative 3, then E is either positive or negative, and negative 3 is not one of our intercepts, so that makes B and D also incorrect, leaving only one possible correct answer, but we will still double check it just to make absolutely sure. If d is greater than negative 1, then e is positive. Greater than negative 1 are all of these values over here. e is our x value, and they're saying that e is positive when we are greater than negative 1, and that is true because all of these values in the blue area are all positive, making c our correct answer.